Welcome to the 10 o'clock news. I'm Jesse Pagan. Thank you for being with us. I'm Carlo Chiquetto. Marcella Lee has the night off. A dangerous police chase outside of a local fast food restaurant ended with officers shooting and killing an armed man. Today, San Diego police released the body cam video of that deadly incident. This all happened July 23rd at a strip mall in the Talmadge area. News 8's Richard Allen shows us a video which some viewers may find disturbing. Well, that's right. San Diego police later recovered two other weapons connected to the suspect, as well as the one he was carrying during this police chase, all of which were homemade firearms with no serial numbers, also known as ghost guns. Drop the gun! Drop the gun! Drop the gun! I will shoot! The video released by San Diego police shows its officers repeatedly ordering 22-year-old Jesus Valletta to drop his weapon as they chased him around a fast food restaurant near El Cajon Boulevard and 54th Street on July 23rd. According to authorities, officers tracked Valletta and three other suspects to this area after they allegedly shot a man in El Cerrito and earlier the same day were also involved in a shooting at Belmont Park in Mission Beach. Units are behind him, still running northbound in the parking lot. Officers pulled over the car the four suspects were in and Valletta jumped out and ran away with a gun in his hand and three officers were not far behind. Stop! At one point, Valletta trips and drops his gun and then picks it back up and continues running while restaurant customers are waiting in the drive through Get on the ground! Get on the ground! Drop the gun! Valletta then fell again and while in a kneeling position and his back turned, swings his arm backwards, pointing the weapon at the officers, two of whom then open fire. News 8 paused this video moments before the gunfire. After the shots were fired, Valletta then threw the gun in front of him. Shots fired, shots fired. Shots fired. A magnified highlighted still frame from one officer's body cam shows the barrel of Valletta's ghost gun pointed at the officers. Those officers were incredibly brave. Ray Shea is a former San Diego police lieutenant and SWAT commander and previously served as a lethal force instructor for the San Diego Regional Police Academy. News 8 asked him to review the video provided by police. I can't tell what his intent was, but I can see that he knew these police officers were chasing him and he raised the gun up at him and there was multiple opportunities. The officers were in serious threat of their life previous to that. So they showed enormous restraint. An especially complicated tactical operation, Shea says, with all of the civilians present during the pursuit. Unfortunately, it ended this way, but thank goodness no one else was hurt. And Valletta later died from his injuries at the hospital. Also, if you'd like to review the full unedited version of this video handed out by San Diego police today, you can watch it at CBSA.com.